is one of the best 220 hand fighters I have ever seen in high school, and he's only going to be a sophomore. Yeah, look at that snap right away. And you're seeing the man strength here by Gable Stevenson. Drops down to the leg. Quick two for Gable. I mean, at any weight class, uh, he goes from heavy on the head to shot better than maybe anybody in the country. Yeah, and for his age, it's mind-blowing. And he moves so well on his feet. He's great lateral movement. Yes. And these guys, they're so young, and I know they're cadets. Obviously, they're young, but they're, they're like, young for their grades. You know, Schultz, 14-year-old kid, going to be a freshman, and, and Stevenson, just 15. These aren't guys that are, you know, old for their grades. These are, you know, legitimately young dudes. They're just superstars already. You there's, see there, there's that footwork by Stevenson. Yeah. So... So uh, fluid for a big guy. Gets another, or gets a step out, extending his lead 3-0. Gable, the younger brother of Bobby Stevenson, former number one ranked wrestler, at 195 pounds, gonna start his true freshman year or begin his true freshman year at Minnesota, out there training right now. And also won Fargo, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he won Last a pretty, year. he won a big bracket. He beat yep. Binnick and Sammy Colbre. So obviously, good stock, nice low single, but that's gonna be Schultz's, and that's where Schultz is dangerous. And watching him, a lot of his stuff is countering off the leg attack, and that was a nice little tip there as he gets on the board. Now he's gonna go to work on top, working high gut, but good luck moving Gable Stevenson. Uh, Colton Schultz, I mean, think about this. The kid's in eighth grade. He comes to Flow Nationals. He had one loss, and it was like, I don't know, five to one, five to two to Austin Meyer, who was arguably the best 220 in the country at the time. Right. Uh, he beat a guy like Jacob Seeley this year. Uh, Jacob Seeley makes the, the finals of uh, the Junior World Team Trials. So. As we're seeing another takedown, they go, they kind of lock up upper body. Stevenson able to take him over for the takedown, extending his lead five to two now. I mean, we're seeing we're seeing these young kids. These guys are going to be staples at the top of the ranking for a long time, and I got to think uh, with really good success in college as well. Wow! Now St Stevenson, kind of I don't know if he was looking for like a, a slide by there, but he ends up pulling him. Uh, Schultz right into him, goes to a body lock, and Stevenson has to bail out. Five four the score. So maybe a lot of people thought Stevenson would would really have the hammer here and be able to. Overwhelm, and there's we see him fire off a shot. Nice whizzer, and we're gonna see one red on the step out. One confirmed. So That's, back and forth, back and forth. We're seeing this. That was time. good. That was good uh, movement and technique by Schultz too, because sure. most people get uh, blown through on that shot. Yeah, yeah, absolutely true. Schultz, part of that resurgent. Colorado group. Nice high crotch. And nearly take him through the girl. Feet to back for Stevenson. Gonna make it 10 to 4. 12 4. And he goes over a little easy. And there, a cross face. And Schultz gives him a little, little nudge there as he gets up. 12 4 the lead now. Nice high single there from Stevenson. A finish here would be the tech. Nearly had it. Couldn't quite get the finish. Seven seconds to go. White paddled. There's two. There's the tech. Oh, and Gable Stevenson gets in his face. <laughs> After the win, 14-4 win for Gable Stevenson. Impressive showing there. Well, you know, 14-4, but I, I almost feel like that doesn't tell the whole story. I mean, in the loss, I'm impressed with Colton Schultz. I, he did I'll, some good things, right? Absolutely. I'm completely impressed with Colton Schultz. Obviously, Stevenson, the better guy right now uh, by a long shot, but yeah. an impressive showing by the eighth grader, rising freshman in Schultz. And maybe the beginning of